Well, these helicopters could be seen and heard not only in downtown Los Angeles, but in the surrounding areas as well. And people we spoke with were startled to see these military aircraft maneuvering so low to the ground. It looked like a scene from a war movie, a helicopter flying low in between buildings in downtown Los Angeles. We don't think it was much higher than the steeple of the church across the street. They were low. They were very low. Low enough where you could see inside. I don't, I'm just assuming there was like a green neon, maybe the control boards inside. That's how low they were. Erica Gallo and Leslie Ruiz were in nearby Lincoln Heights. They saw the helicopters and say they were loud. Four smaller helicopters in the front, but their lights were all turned off. And there was only red lights in each one of them. Then another military helicopter came in. It was much bigger. According to the LAPD, it's all part of a U.S. Army training exercise to teach soldiers skills and how to operate in an urban environment. The department said residents could hear weapon simulations. Officials say the local terrain in Los Angeles provides the Army with unique locations and environments that service members may encounter when deployed overseas. But some people here feel they should have been warned about this. I definitely think, you know, it would be nice to get a heads up. You know, nowadays you just never know what's happening. And we were talking about, you know, it's, everybody has a fear, especially after 9-11 happened. You know, when you see, you know, helicopters or airplanes that are flying too low. A statement by the LAPD said in part, this training is coordinated with the appropriate state, county and city officials, as well as private property owners. Safety precautions have been implemented to prevent unnecessary risk to both participants and or area residents and property. And it's not over yet. The training is set to run through Saturday. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.